not everyone's pick. Maybe the sleeper pick. Definitely not my pick. I'm like, he was one of the first 16. He was not my pick to be in the top three. But, I mean, then again, you can't forget about the old man, man. Hey, he's already doing bucket. This is what we talked about earlier. I mean, the thing is, both of them are characters that you don't want to, like, approach directly. Or hit him on shield. Approach. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, for the record, Rin has the options to not approach. But Josh King has the counter exactly. with Bucket. So it's very much a chess matchup right here. And currently, <laughs> Josh King is putting taking out all the pawns. You know, I've seen this from a lot of links that they like to do like a lot of nares and stuff like that. That's a, that's some great shield pressure. But the thing is, against Game of Watch, Game of Watch would be like, uh, yeah, up B is cool. It just kind of invalidates your nair. What? Wait, I'm sorry. I looked at my phone for the time. How do you die? Uh, nair. Last set of nair. Yeah. I'm not hey. saying anything else after that. Man. You me, everyone. All right, so <laughs> second stock, away, he, he was able to get 50, uh, 50. Oh my god, I forgot he can absorb that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. See, I wonder if Yumi's bag of tricks will ever run out. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I mean, he's, that bag's still looking pretty full right now. Yeah, I but know. Rin's doing all his best to just try and um, just take any advantage he can. That train. was so smart. Rin, I mean, Rin was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Yumi's like, I don't, I'm not going to like uh, be close to you at all. I, I love that. That was such a good trade for Josh King. Even if it was unintentional, it looked completely unintentional. It was perfect trade for him. Yeah. All oh. right, the grab from the down air. That is not safe on shield, but the reflector from the bucket. <laughs> That's the thing. You can't really pressure Yumi with, with length here. You really got to pressure him with that uh, sword. And as of right now, Ren's just kind of still trying to get the down mode. Exactly. He can't do Nair like he likes to. Oh my god! What Ooh. the heck was that? This old man. This big brain All right, old you man. know how I said he needed with the sword? He got it with the sword. He got some nice sauce with the sword. Oh, look at... Yo, yo, he's just trying to bring... Look at this! If he's able to get some more platform combos, that's going to help him so much. Especially if he's able to clutch up this game. We're looking pretty even here as well. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to get... I'm going to predict. I'm going to use my foresight right now. Okay. He's going to try to go for a little bit more bomb combos and go for a nair on Yumi. But Yumi's going to be like, all right, I'm going to just play passive against you now. Watch. Oh, he went for dare. Never mind. I lied. Yo, sick, sick, sick read, dude. Sick read. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's why I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not playing right now. I'm just commentating. <laughs> that and I'm staff. But hey. All right. That boomerang's going to help him so much. Forder almost taking it. Yeah, that's a big, that's a hefty boy. Oh, shoes. That is, what? Yep, up the out of shield, up the out of shield. Both of them, both of them have that option, but one of them kills. Yes. One of them is fatal. The thing is, though, his is frame seven, and he never, he has not done it that entire game until that last time. A couple times. He did? Once or, once or twice before yeah. that. Yes. Like out of shield? Yeah. Dang. I've been noticing Rin's sword too much. I don't know, man. Yeah. But, I mean, this is, I mean, again, we've been talking about this matchup, how, like, that's something you can't really throw out there too often, too. Nope. Both yeah. of them could be in shield. Both of them could up B. I don't know what would happen from that. <laughs> so, one's safer and one's, uh, you know, a kill option. <laughs> yeah. Even or, a get off me option, like they can, he can use it right now, and that's just a, that's advantage. It uh, it also just sets precedent. It tells like Josh King, like, all right, anytime you touch my shield, like willy nilly, you're gonna get hit hard. All right, able to air dodge, missing that second back air, and that boomerang might be able to help run out a lot. That's gonna be a lot of damage. That's crazy. Like, I see so many things from Rin that I'm like, dang, it kind of makes me want to play Link. And then I'm like, it's Link, never mind. <laughs> Wait, I have to think? Yeah, well, no. Exactly, bro. Oh, that's it. Good spacing from Yumi, able to recognize the down air. Actually, the retreating down air, uh, to be specific. Yeah, he was he was hoping to whip punish that down air, and he got it. Oh. Rin's trying to take advantage of a lot of that 0% force smash as well, but and this matchup is a little bit questionable. Yeah, especially with the bucket in the way, you know? Okay, right. I forgot. They both could just keep doing nine airs on each other. Yeah, they really could, but uh, Ren's a little bit more riskier. Um, especially, yeah, like that. But, huh. I'm wondering if Josh King ever will, like, challenge it with up smash. You know, because it has invincibility on it. Yeah. Oh, the first hit? Yeah. yeah if you hit with the they tip of it, yeah. Okay, no, okay. If you hit with the tip of it, it could just kill. It doesn't have to link it to the second hit. Oh, oh my god, he almost got that bomb combo. That would be crazy. <laughs> All right, able to jump away from the grab of the boomerang, not coming back to save him in that forward smash. Gonna clutch out that stock. So now Yumi in a pretty good position for his second stock. And now looking to clutch out this game. Uh, we saw earlier, I mean, like he lost the first game, but 
first but, stock. Yeah. yeah. He didn't lose the first game. Oh, no. Yumi, uh, and, 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 yeah, Yumi. Yumi. I, I, was, I was very confused. I no, was no, like, like uh, and, yeah, in his, in his winner semi set, he lost the first game, but just brought it all the way back. I guess Sayu. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, he had the luck of uh, Yumi. He had the luck of Yumi, but, I mean, right now, he, he's he playing. Just, Yumi's just playing Yumi. Yeah, he's just, no, he's playing very fundamental. I'm like, whoa. Oh. And you kind of have to in this matchup, too. You can't really jank a ton of stuff without getting punished hard. And exactly. Ren's actually been doing that quite frequently. So you may maybe be a little bit able to adapt. And now, possibly losing that stun. I thought that was going to be an up oh air out of it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's that it. Yeah, that's also a really strong option. Link has a lot of really strong options uh, to kill. It's almost like he's really strong. I mean, maybe. <laughs> he's in winner's finals. I mean, hey. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. He'll make it back on stage. Takes advantage of the forward air lag. Let's see if he's able to use that bomb up for anything air. right now. That he does beat up air. All right, we get to confirm that. Debunked. Myth busted. <laughs> I mean, it's the key to life, bro. Oh, there it is, man. And it's the key to that game. I mean, he's just gone out of there. Hey, man. And he's, he said he hates us being corny, bro. It's the best <laughs> thing in the world, bro. Come on, it's tangents. Come on. <laughs> They're just nice tangents. I don't know why you're so mad, bro. Have you ever heard EE commentate? That's all he does. <laughs> Dude, look, I'm not EE. -E. I, I may share the same skin tone, but I'm not the same as the guy, bro. You know. <laughs> Game three, just go. Hey, man. I think we're on. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Limit Breaker. Yeah. Oh, hey, <laughs> finally. We got the right stage. You know, it, it would have been really cool if this stage had like more than two songs, though. I actually like what? That's so unfortunate. There, there's like so many songs in the FF universe. And then they're like, nah, only two. Whoa. Oh! What? That was a good I'm surprised. Yeah, like I'm surprised you didn't throw that a little, a little bit earlier because he would have gotten that stock possibly. A little shook, I guess. Yeah, maybe a little bit uh, hesitant on the trigger finger, but regardless, they're still looking pretty even. Up here, wait, whoa, they trade now. Yeah. All right. I mean, sword or, or, or key. I don't know which one's stronger, though. I mean, from that perspective, it looks like the key, but... We may have to ask Sora if he's in this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? The first time F Smash actually hits. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh. Actually, he's taking the stock, okay? So, okay. that's going to be Raid... Sorry, Raid Ren. Even though uh, Raid... No, no, he's RMU. RMU Ren. That's right. Ren I looked Morris. at the Twitter. I was like, wait, Raid win. I'm just going to go with it. But, oh. key. <laughs> clutching it out. They're both the <laughs> That's Dude, he really read. didn't need to do anything because, like, he was at a space where he could read that even. All right, sorry, just react to that, not read it. Mm -hmm. Yo, eighty-nine percent unanswered. Okay, okay. All right, answered. now it's answered, but only seven percent to answer. And Ren's looking to clutch out this second stock. Yep. Oh, Such a great edge guard setup, and with that bomb just kind of chilling there, there's not a lot you can do. I think the best you could do is probably jump, but even then, you jump, you get hit it, by the bomb. You can get hit by the bomb, yep. Oh, jeez. So that's the thing. Like, Lynx has one of the best edge cards in the game. It's just very specific how you set it up. Ah. And Ren is very good at abusing that setup, and I'm surprised we haven't seen it a lot earlier. It's just he hasn't really been able to set that up, especially yeah. with a character like Game & Watch. Oh, I thought he was going to try to punish on that down here, but uh, I guess Ren is just out here, man. He really is reading what Yumi is doing. And Yumi's not been able to land its Yumi magic, so... Yeah. Alright, oh. quick forward air gonna change the momentum now and Ren looking pretty good. The reflector helping Yumi a lot and actually getting enough percent for that up smash to take the stock. You know, I think Yumi was standing right there, anticipating the down air whiff. But hey, he got lucky with the F air whiff. So you know. Hey, I don't everything works out. Dash back there, but let's see. Oh, gets in there, no jump. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Still holds on to the bomb. Yeah, he need to get rid of that. Just have some aerial options. Oh, wow, that was a good call out. I think we're kind of really at the point where it's just who can land their moves faster? Oh, what? What? The well, what, did oh, do what? What is going on? There were so many. Oh, man, spaghetti everywhere. All right, well, I mean, Yumi's looking to clutch this out. Possibly go to a game three with the advantage, but Ren going to make it really hard for him. The bomb now oh, on Yumi. He just went for that. Oh, and the goal. Oh. What the heck is going on? Crazy, what the, crazy, crazy. What the heck? All right, he's gonna throw that bomb out there. Yes, he does. The reflector is bringing it right back, and now he's gonna try and read the option. I'm that also kill. gonna do it. <laughs> so that's so, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you waited all that time for. It. Not gonna lie, 
I thought that Yumi would have had a little bit more situational awareness knowing that that up throw was going to be the one to kill and DI properly for it. But it happened so quick that I can understand why he was like, whoa, what happened? Yeah. But that was crazy. That was, that was so anticlimactic, though. That was like, well, let me be fair. Um, I don't I mean, know, man. <laughs> no, go, go to Midgar, FD, man. Yeah, what, what, what are they? Uh, they went to Midgar Battlefield? Exactly. All I, right. Well, I mean, as we saw earlier, this might be Yumi's stage. That is. We know that PS2 is the stage for Sir Dank, but FD might be the stage for Yumi. We'll see if the stage actually ends up mattering. The lack of platforms, actually lack of platforms at all, going from having to try plants, might be the difference that Yumi needs to go to game five. Exactly. And remember, that's when he started activating the Yumi magic. So, you know, FD could be the wave. But I mean, he really needs that magic to start right now because uh, at this point, Rin's trying to run away with his lead. Yep, man. I mean, there comes the magic right there. Well, right back to even percent. You just keep him in the air, and that's really hard to get back down. Exactly, but it doesn't normally turn into a stock for Mr. Game Watch, unfortunately. It really is just damage, and I mean, even with that damage. Oh, you didn't oh, tech! Oh, oh, oh. The un the untech was purposeful. All right, I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> that like the miss tech was purposeful. You knew. Great bomb recovery, not able to clutch it out with the forward tilt just yet, but that forward air, gonna do it. I, I'm so surprised. Big brain ran around here. Yeah. And now the stock is looking very fragile, but he wants to get any damage he can. Unfortunately, not gonna find it, so we're gonna reset at 0% on both their second stocks. That's crazy. Um, you, you know what, Ren? I would suggest you stop doing that. Just stop. But then again, I guess that was a bait. That one seemed like it was a bait, so then it yeah, because you, you have some lag off that too. Like mm -hmm. you can take advantage of it pretty well. I don't know if you really wanted to pick up a bomb there, but that limits his options in the air. Okay. Maybe we'll get rid of it. But Yumi has not been fighting a lot of like advantage from that forward air. Nope. I mean, the thing is, it really disappears on any type of hitbox. It really does. So, you know, Rain has hitboxes. So you know, <laughs> let me use them. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be linking into something. That back end to something. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know why he turned it around, but it just kind of happened. But uh, the lag, the hit some rather, from the forward air is going to help you keep him off stage, but it will jump right back on. I'm just kidding. Uh huh. Other side. <laughs> okay, missed tech. Right. Yeah, but how? That's that's a little hard to figure yeah. out if you're going to take that or not, so I don't blame him. I thought he was going to like uh, grab the ledge, but he just said nah. Cool. He stopped that whole combo with that tilt. Just think about that. Okay. All right, the back air is able to land. Now it's going to be Yumi and the advantage having the air. First time, fair actually hits. Having run in the air. I think that's what really uh, Yumi needs to focus on more is just that being able to keep Rain in the air like that. Mm -hmm. With no boomerangs, assuming no boomerangs are coming back at you, it's going to help him get a lot of that damage. And, and then the kill will naturally come after that. Yep. Oh, oh my that, God. that's not. That's his charge. Never mind. Oh That's my god, I actually it. got it! I was like, I knew it's wee. Alright. Game so, five, FD looking to be a right counter pick, but Ren winning that game number three is gonna help him a lot. Don't go back to FD, please, Ren. Please learn from Sayuki's sake. Yeah. Just don't. Now, I'm kind of curious because you mean went from a stage from all triplats to no plats, mm -hmm. and maybe the tri are triplats gonna be the ban? Because it might help him a lot, but it also. He didn't really hurt a lot from that stage. I feel like Game Watch is pretty okay on stages, especially in this matchup. This matchup was really more just how long the stage is, and that really comes from cal things like Calus. Yeah. Like, and, maybe Town. And we didn't see the stage they chose, but I assume... Okay, let's... let's I'm going to wager bet. Uh, I hope it's Smashville. I was about to say Smashville is a good kind of... What? We're going to FD... Oh. FD Midgar. All right, uh -oh. this might be the change All right. uh, that Ren needed. Uh, I know Rin's a pretty big fan of the, the Midgar stage, so, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, accurate for the, for yeah. the event. Very apropos. I mean, I, this, the thing is, we're going back to FD, which I don't know if I really like, because, you know, this is where Yumi gets his magic from. Like, but also, it wasn't it wasn't very much like a, a shutout from uh, Yumi as well. That's it true. really was a back and forth match, and Yumi was just having to clutch out that last lock. That last lock he took a lot of advantage on. Okay, all right, all right. Damage, 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 damage. damage. Like, I, I had a feeling that Yumi was gonna go for the judge right there, but he's like, no, nah, I'm gonna actually try to play you like straight up, you know, fair up. Which is yeah. crazy. Up in up air is gonna have a lot of damage, but that bomb is gonna change the momentum really quick. 
Oh, I don't even actually get anything from the boomerang, but a quick upgrade to the vibe check him, and that's gonna be it. Ouch. Imagine, imagine getting upgraded by Link, man. <laughs> it goes straight through your back. Ah. Imagine being flat and getting up there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Can't see actually that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, so I'm you. joking, but anyways, uh, looks like this uh, Omega counter pick is actually working really well for Ren, even though it's the same stage. I mean, no, it's just a music upgrade, you know? Music upgrade is going to help him a lot. Yeah, he needs to just stop throwing out smashes like that. Because that's also what hurt him against Sayuki for a little bit. Sorry, we're just... Yeah, no, I'm just observing. Like, I'm very curious as to like what they're gonna do. Rin, um, actually, I, I'm gonna save it for both these players. Both these players are really looking for the air game from the other person to just take advantage of because a lot of them have great anti airs. A lot of them can keep in the air for a while. A key can take a stock at 140, which is pretty understandable. But you know, Rin's gonna make this pretty hard to come back for uh, Josh King. Yeah, Yumi. With, with the thing was with Yumi, he only has one spot left on his bucket right now. So that may seem good, but he, oh, okay, okay. That may seem good, but after he fills up that bucket, just think about it, he can't reflect anything anymore. He can't absorb anything anymore. I mean, I wouldn't blame him like throwing it out there like when Rin's off stage, because that's like so good, but a quick up the shield. Rin's gonna find himself in grand finals. So the logo master, the guy that created the master is in grand Rick. finals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Serious. I, you know what? I mean,